Oh, hey everybody, it's Johnny Fuel. I'm about to head out to El Paso. As you can see, I'm pretty bundled up because it's only about, about 40 degrees this morning. It'll warm up a bit, um, but it'll stay a bit cool today. So, um, you know, I just wanted to make sure I was uh, properly dressed or dressed as best as I can. And um, the first thing I'm gonna do is get out of the city here and get to Tejeras, and that's where I feel like the journey really starts. So uh, with that, uh, let's go. All right, so I think I have a, a tentative plan to start up here in Albuquerque and um, make my way over here to, to Harris, then take this Highway 337 and uh, work my way over here on some of these non-interstate roads down to um, White Oaks, which is right here. And White Oaks is a ghost town, so I thought I'd check that out. And then from there, work my way down to... Uh, Alamogordo using some of these more scenic routes. Looks like I have a number of options there. And then from there, I'm going to take this Highway 70 and go right through White Sands National Monument and, uh, and then finish up by making my way over here to El Paso. Now the next day, I think I'll take this route and it looks like 185 um, and some other highways kind of follow the interstate. And there's some possibilities here. Here's Highway number one and even some dirt roads. So depending on how much time I want to make up or how I'm feeling, I may uh, make time or I may um, uh, take some of these back roads and, and work my way back north to Albuquerque. Yeah, so I realized I made a rookie mistake here and on my way out of the city, I went to Harris, but it's like 1,200 feet higher in altitude, making it about 6,200 feet. So it got colder. So um, I stopped to put on my rain gear because it gives me an extra layer of warmth. Um, but it also looked really dark, if you can kind of tell from the picture there. And uh, rain was threatening too. All right, so I'm into Harris. And uh, boy, it's cold. It's uh, 32 degrees. I can see my breath and uh, my helmet's fogging up. But I did run into a... I stopped to get some gas and uh, ran into somebody who said if I um, uh, go east here to Moriarty, I can um, get south a little faster. So I think the reason it's so cold is I went up in altitude a good thousand feet. So it's, uh, it's kind of nuts. She said um, in the gas station, the lady I uh, saw in there said it was supposed to snow tonight. Fortunately, I won't be here tonight, but uh, yeah, that's crazy. So I'm gonna go uh, about 40 miles here um, and uh, and then turn and uh, change my route up just a little bit. So see how that goes and uh, go from there. All right, it's uh, 10.45, thereabouts, um, and uh, the temperature has never gotten above 38 degrees, so I think I'm going to call an audible here and change my plans and uh, reschedule this, this ride. As you can see, it's cloudy. The sun hasn't come out yet. It's also pretty windy. And uh, I have my warmest clothes on, but uh, the cold is just starting to seep through to my bones. And uh, So I'm, I'm headed... Uh, I'm headed east to um, Mountain Air. Well, for today, I decided to um, <clears throat> started the punt on this trip and um, go back home. It hasn't. Uh, the temperature hasn't gone above 30. Well, the high was 38. The low was 30. 36 right now and uh, after almost three hours of that it was just it was just getting too cold so uh, it wasn't comfortable and I, if I had continued on further south it very well could have uh, gotten warmer but it could also have taken a couple more hours and I don't think I could I don't think I could last that long so I decided to reschedule this trip for another time which I re really want to do. I really want to go down south to El Paso and see that part of the state. 
um, and see El Paso. I was only through El Paso one time by train, and you don't see a lot by train. I mean, you, you tend to see the oldest parts of a city. Um, but uh, so I'm gonna. Oh, my uh, temperature now says 39.2. That's the warmest it's been. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna head back to Albuquerque, a little bit different route. Uh, see something a little different, I guess, and uh, and then just uh, warm up. When I get home, I think I'll have a cup of coffee and uh, maybe a hot shower, and uh, maybe even take a nap, lay under some blankets, warm up. So it's disappointing. I. I was really hoping I could tough it out. I even put on my rain pants. Oh, I actually got some sun. Temperature isn't that much better, 44 degrees, but uh, boy, it sure is nice to see the sunshine. And the landscapes here are beautiful. Okay. Boy, this cold weather must be wreaking havoc on my battery because uh, it just doesn't want to last as long, even though I'm not recording a whole lot. Now, the sun's out, which is great. 50 degrees is the warmest it's been today. I just stopped to take off my uh, rain pants and put on my thinner gloves because they just feel a little bit better. And uh, I figured it was uh, not necessary for me to wear my heavy ones. But we'll see how it goes. My windsock fell off, so this is kind of a test to see if, uh, if you can hear me and if the wind is too bad. Um, so, temperature is still in the mid 50s, which is great. It feels a lot better. And I stopped at the hardware store a ways back because I wanted to work on a little project. Um, I wanted a, a GoPro screw that was a little longer, so I tried to make my own with um, some threaded rod and um, some lock nuts and things. So we'll see how that turns out. Um, I'm using it now. It's not perfect, but it's getting there. So, um, But anyway, the sun came out. It's beautiful right now. Everything's more cheerful and a little more comfortable. And I'm heading back to uh, Albuquerque. I think I'm just a little south of Las Lunas, which is about an hour away from the south side of Albuquerque. 